Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for November 4th through the 11th. So this is uh, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes. This is Tarot Illuminati deck. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading is for somebody. Okay, it's not for everybody. It's not. If you're in a happily ever after relationship and everything is good, I suggest you click off right now. Okay? This is for people that are looking for an answer in regards to their love relationship. That's what this reading is for. Okay? If you're struggling and you're looking for answers, that's what tarot readings are for. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know about this upcoming week? Is there any predictions? Is there any predictions for Aquarius? I might be trouble at work. <laughs> that just came to me. More of a work issue? I don't know. Ooh, King of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Five of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Wands reversed. You may have some opposition, eh? You do have some opposition. You may be ungrounded at this point. There could be some jealousy around you. Somebody may be jealous of you at work because this is a boss. I mean, the, or this is somebody in authority. There could be some bullying going on. There's definitely some dishonesty, eh? Hmm. Ooh, you're holding on, though. You're holding on to something that uh, somebody, you're dealing with somebody who is has control issues, you know what I mean? Somebody that is very... doesn't have good intentions for you somebody that doesn't really like you I'm sorry I'm sorry it could be at work somebody is against you I do think this does have to do could be in a relationship but could be at work or somebody is not being honest that's for damn sure now this could be in regard we have this king of cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio this is a man that doesn't have good intentions or is withdrawn, detached, not communicating. And maybe there's another woman. I mean, that's the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is holding on to a dead end situation and it's getting old. Needing to take a next step. You may be juggling, going back and forth. Things may be a little chaotic at this time. You may be... It's like there's a lot... Somebody is trying to... I just want to get the rest of the cards. Before. Yeah, it is a dead-end situation. It is. Be these two just marrying each other. This is a dead-end dead, dead end situation. It is. It's, a, it's the death of an idea or something that needs to go. Very painful. This is the Three of Swords. This is the Ace of Swords. You have the opportunity to take the power, but you're not using your power. You're not taking back your power. Somebody else has stolen your power. And there's control issues here. You're dealing with somebody that is manipulative, Somebody that is against you. You do have somebody that doesn't like you. I'm sorry. And could be Libra. Could be Libra. Could be could be anybody because you basically I mean, you don't have the pentacles here. You have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Your this this card. I mean, this card is the basis, really, of your of your week. You're holding on to a dead end situation that needs to be released. Needs to be released with this Four of Pentacles. You may be staying there just for the money, but there's no emotional fulfillment. There's no cups here. There's no. It's like you don't love it, whatever it is. It's just not emotionally content. 
but you may be staying there to keep things balanced financially. I don't know what this is, but this is about taking that sword. Again, see, she's got the sword in her hand. The sword's right here. It's free for the taking, but you're still dealing with some sort of pain, okay? Because that's the three of swords equals the four of swords. So you're going through a period of contemplation right now feeling empty and lost on the inside you're feeling you're grieving over something there's some sort of grief you're going through some sort of grief and it ha probably does have to do with work and you may be staying or you're in a relationship and you're only you're staying for the money or the stability of it this is about making a heavy decision you have to make a heavy decision the power you have the power to make a decision that will bring balance to your life, but you're not doing it. There's ties, the five of swords reversed, that need to be severed, but it's up to you to do it. You have the power. You have to sever those ties. With whoever it is that is using like emotional blackmail against you. It's like, it's like they're just fucking with you. bringing like chaos into your life and you're probably staying because you don't want to make any poor financial decisions, right? You need the money maybe. I don't know. You need the stability. But you're definitely dealing. It's almost like it's an abusive situation and there's more than one person involved. So this is a week about making a decision because that is it's time to make that heavy decision. So that you can bring balance back to your life. It's time to pick up that sword and take back your power. It's time for you to move in a new direction. Find that strength. This is a card of mental strength. It's a card of you find those resources. You find that force within you to take the lead. To put yourself in the driver's seat. To be the boss of your own life. It's about mental strength. And mastering your emotions. To head in a new direction. To bring victory and success to your life. Right now, you've not, you don't, you haven't taken your power. Again, we have this Ace of Swords that's reversed. Right, you've given your power away to somebody, and you have the opportunity to take it back, to take the lead, to face opposition. You see this? That's there's opposition. You have to face the opposition. You take that damn sword, even if it hurts. There's conflict here. There is some conflict. Uh, you may be you may be trying too hard to make things work when maybe you just need to speak your mind. Maybe you need to set some boundaries and let whoever this is know that you're not going to take it. Speak up, Aquarius. Oh my God. You're, you're trapped. I got the chills. I got the goosebumps. You're trapped. You're stuck. But you're allowing it. You're allowing. You're not really trapped. Your feet aren't freaking bound. You can run away. Your mouth isn't even plugged. You can open your mouth at any time. But you're keeping that mask on because who knows why you're afraid to open your mouth? That doesn't sound like you, Aquarius. It must be that you're you're holding back because of the money. You don't want any conflict. But you have competition, right? Somebody is like forcing you to play, whether you like it or not. It's like they're playing a game with you. And because you're you're trying to and maybe maybe all you need to do is demand respect by speaking up for yourself. You're reluctant. But once you speak up and you say what you gotta say, you will feel relieved. does have to do with work it does it does have to do with work and I think that you will be more respected and appreciated once you do you know what you got to do you already know and you've been keeping silent holding it in and it's bubbling 
It's bubbling. It's about to come out. You've been keeping this too silent for too long. And I think that you're at a point where whatever it is that you've been holding in needs to come out. Because it's time. It's time for that communication. It's time for you to be appreciated for who you are. It's about money, right? It's about your stability. This has to do with either, you know, your... It has to do with your legacy. It has to do with your money. It has to do with your job or something like that. But this could be, this is a completion. It is. The Ten of Pentacles is a completion that will bring abundance. It will bring you more success in the long run, even though you're afraid. I think that the reason that you aren't speaking up is because you're afraid of um, financial loss or asset loss. Reluctant to move on, reluctant to make any moves at all because of the stability of it. But like I said, there's no emotional fulfillment here. None. None. Whether it's a job or at home, it's like this, uh, this, is, this sucks. It really sucks. It's not going to get better until you speak up. You need... To realize that you are absolutely positively, positively, positively capable of success. No matter where you go or what you do, you're going to be successful. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. You have the stamina. At this point, it's about being practical. Being real. Being grounded. You have the skills even to be your own boss. You're very capable of material success, even on your own, just saying. I don't know where that's coming from. You also could be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who will help you, who has something to offer you. Maybe there's a man in this picture that sees your capability. There's definitely some sort of mystery here. There's a secret. There's a secret. There's a something you don't know. There's somebody that has your back, by the way. You may not even know that this person has your back. You've been sacrificing yourself and it's time it's time to stop sacrificing yourself for the situation that you have been stuck in. It's time for you to stand up and, and, and make a move. You've been resisting this change because it's comfortable there, even though it's not comfortable. There's a lot of animosity and pettiness and stupidity. But on the other people's part, it's like they're, they're poking you. It's like they're trying to get you going. And you need to stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. You're going to, if you stand up for yourself, you will get what you deserve. This is a six of pentacles. You'll get what you deserve. You might even get a, a pay raise. Seriously. If it's, this is job related, if you stand up for yourself and you prove yourself and you would do what you got to do, you might get more respect and more. You'll be appreciated more. Maybe that's what the universe is trying to do. They're trying to, free, and this is a card, the chariot is a card of mental strength. 
They're trying to get you to find the strength to set boundaries and speak up for yourself. And everybody has to lose, learn strength in this lifetime. So it looks to me like you're going to receive something. If not respect, you're going to receive some respect for speaking up for yourself when you stand up for yourself, like I've said. You will receive, it could be a pay raise or an increase or something like that. Money, if you've been struggling in the money arena, I think it's going to get better. After you take a stand, you definitely have somebody who is wicked, wicked jealous of you. But you're supposed to stand in your power. I think you're going to receive some sort of increase in money. Whether it's um, unexpectedly, maybe somebody gives you some money. Or gives you some help. Or you get a raise. Or you get a bonus. Or you get an inheritance. Or something like that. Could even be family money. You could receive some family money. Something that's going to help you to get out of this situation that you're in. It's going to make you feel better, whatever it is. It's going to bring balance to your life. It is. It's going to be justice. You're going to get the justice that you deserve, period. But, but this justice comes after you speak up for yourself. It's the truth. You have to stand up for yourself. There could be a breakup in a partnership. Now, this could be a work partnership or a love relationship. There could be a split. But the split is going to bring you something more abundant, believe it or not. It is. Whether you get, get out of this job or you get out of this relationship, you're going to receive more abundance for doing so. And I know that's hard to believe, but that is the truth. Because you make that conscious change to change. This is making that conscious change. This is a card of personal freedom, freedom that allows you to let go of the heaviness and be free. You know, this Ten of Wands, it's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of the heavy load, which brings you personal freedom. So it looks like there's a completion here. Something could be ending, could be a job, could be a relationship. And it's going to bring you more stability and abundance than you've seen in a long, long time. Could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be dealing with a Libra, Libra. All the signs are here. Whatever this is, there's going to be an increase after a release. That's what there is. So you could be making that decision or somebody else could be making that decision to drop it. I'm out of here. Adios. Because there's no victory in success. There's no respect. And it's time for me to leave all this hurt and past and bullshit behind. Take those swords out of my heart and move on. Towards happiness and content. So whatever is happening this week, I feel as though there's a release as you take back your power and you speak your truth. And it leads to happiness and a new commitment, a new partnership. But this is a week of facing your fears and speaking your truth that you have been keeping within. And you have been. With that high priestess, you've been keeping it a secret. And it's, I think it's at the surface. It's about ready to come out. And I think there's going to be some words with that page of swords said that move you in a new direction, the direction that you are meant to go in. So be prepared perhaps for even an altercation, okay? You could be dealing, you could have some sort of altercation that moves you to a new place, okay? It moves you to a new, could be a new office, a new job, a new home, a new relation. Whatever this is, there's, there's movement, okay? 
and it's going to be with the chariot card and the six of wands and i see a lot of success coming for you with a lot of abundance and happiness and something that is going to be more long term and fulfilling and abundant than where you've been but it's about you this week is about you reaching down and taking that sword to deal with this pain that you have been hiding the taking the power back but this is the sword of communication and i see a lot of it here you've been stuck in a rut not communicating and i feel like this is the week where you communicate and you get the justice you deserve for doing so Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honest, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Speak up. It's a week of letting it out. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Stop. Trying to control. Allow what is meant to be to be. If you're not happy... Make a move. That High Priestess card is your intuition. Your intuition knows what this is. Your intuition knows what to do. Do it. Speak up. Talk to you next week, Aquarius.